Put your hands up. No. First at five, a retired San Antonio police detective pulling a gun on a man he thought stole a cell phone, leaving him with a bloody lip in the process. More than a week after it was all captured on camera, that ex-officer has still not been charged. Our Dylan Collier with what legal experts think of this video. The man who asked that we not identify him for fear of being targeted by police said his problem started when he found a phone in the middle of the street and ended with him being roughed up at gunpoint by a former San Antonio police detective in the parking lot of a Home Depot. An SAPD incident report says the man answered the phone when it rang and sent a text message telling the owner's family he would return it after finishing an errand. Records show the owner's family tracked the device and started banging on the man's window while he was in traffic. The victim later threw the phone back after being confronted at a gas station. Put your hands up. No. The footage recorded by the victim on his own cell phone starts soon after he arrives at Home Depot. The man with a handgun pointed at the victim, identified by police as retired SAPD detective John Schiller. Texas Commission on Law Enforcement officials confirming today Schiller has not held a peace officer's commission since leaving SAPD in March 2019. With his background as a police officer, he should know more than anyone how inappropriate that was. Kevin LaChapelle, a former officer turned police accountability expert, says if Schiller believed a crime had taken place, he should have called police. What are you doing, man? Huh? What are you going to do, shoot me? I tell you what, I'm going to shoot, shoot me. Imagine somebody else is in the parking lot with a concealed weapons permit and sees this going down and thinks it's a robbery or something, and they get into a gun battle. Police took possession of Schiller's handgun and loaded magazine, but allowed him to leave the scene without being charged. Now it almost looks as though he's attempting to effectuate a citizen's arrest. Donna Coltharp, assistant law professor at St. Mary's University, says the case will be litigated in the court. Get on the ground! And that the video only provides a slice of what happened, but that Schiller's actions raise serious questions. It doesn't appear to me in this video or from my reading of the police report that this man had the kind of knowledge that he would need in order to effectuate a citizen's arrest. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Schiller did not respond to our phone calls and a text message sent to a number listed for him. SAPD officials have declined to say why Schiller has not been charged, only that the investigation is ongoing.